Hey what's up everyone, welcome back to the channel, thanks so much for checking out this video. In this video I'm going to show you how to play the song Sea of Victory by Elevation Worship. I'm only going to show you one way how to play it and that way requires the use of a capo. If you don't have a capo, check out the links down below and you can buy one that's best for you. If you're new to the channel, welcome, I'm Andrew, I'm a worship leader at my local church. Here you'll find a lot of worship leading tips and tutorials. If that's something that you're into or interested in, go ahead and hit the like button for this video and hit the subscribe button and notification bell to keep updated for future videos. I'll help out the channel tremendously. And also guys, if you have any song requests for future videos, I'd love to see those requests. Leave them down in the comment section below. But otherwise guys, let's get right into the lesson for Sea of Victory by Elevation. Alright guys, so Sea of Victory by Elevation is originally in the key of B flat or A sharp and the tempo is 80 beats per minute and the time signature is 4-4. And like I mentioned before, I'm only going to show you one way how to play this song and that way requires the use of a capo. But before I show you where to put the capo and what chords to use, I want to show you the strumming pattern first. The strumming pattern that we'll use for Sea of Victory remains consistent throughout the whole song with each section of the song so we don't have to change it up. The strumming pattern that we'll use will go something like this. It's going to be down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. The strumming pattern again will be down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. And what I'll do for this strumming pattern is I'll play it at full speed and then I'll slow it down right after. This is the strumming pattern at full speed. And this is the strumming pattern at a slower speed. If you struggle with the strumming pattern, no worries. Uh, you can pause the video, rewind it, or come back to it. Just keep practicing it and you'll get it. So now that we have the strumming pattern down, I can show you where to put the capo and what chords to use. So we're gonna take our capo and place it on the third fret of the guitar and play our key of G chords. And throughout the whole song, we're only gonna use four chords within the key of G. So the chords that we'll use throughout the whole song is going to be a G chord. C. Or C at 9, E minor, or E minor 7, and D. So to start off the song, we can play the intro, and for the intro, we do have a chord progression that we'll play. The chord progression that we'll use for the intro is going to be an E minor, C, and G. And we'll play that chord progression twice for the intro. The intro will sound something like this. So then right after the intro, we can go into the first verse. And for the first verse, we can play that same chord progression, the E minor, C, and G. And we can play that chord progression a total of five times for the verse. The verse will sound something like this. The weapon may be formed, but it won't prosper. Cause the God I serve knows only how to try it. My God will never fail. So then right after the intro, we can go into the first chorus. And for the first chorus, we have a similar chord progression, but we're going to add one more chord. So the chords that we'll use for the chorus, it's going to be an E minor, C, G, and then we're going to add the D chord at the end of the chorus. In total, we can play that chord progression once for the chorus. The chorus will sound something like this. I'm gonna see a victory For the battle belongs to you, Lord I 
I'm gonna see your victory For the battle belongs to you, Lord So then after the course, we can go into verse 2 and for verse 2, it's the same chord progression as verse 1, so no changes there. And then after verse 2, we can go into a second course and that second course is also the same chord progression as the first chorus, so no changes there. So after the second course, we can go right into the bridge and for the bridge, we do have a different chord progression altogether. So these are the chords that we'll play for the bridge. It's going to be a C. E minor. D, G, C, E minor, and D. And we'll play that chord progression once for the bridge. The bridge will sound something like this. You take what the enemy meant for evil, and you turn it for good. You turn it for good You take what the enemy meant for evil You turn it for good So then after the bridge, they go back into the chorus for a couple more times, but that chord progression is like the other choruses from before, no changes there. And then after they sing the chorus for a couple more times, they go into the bridge again, but those bridges are the same chord progression as the first bridge, so no changes there. So to end the song, we can go ahead and play a G chord, and that's ultimately how you play C of Victory. So the next part of the lesson, if you're familiar with my other tutorials on the channel, is the playthrough. And what I'll do for the playthrough is sing and play the first verse, the chorus, and the bridge once. And it's just an idea to see how everything comes together. If you struggle with the playthrough, no worries. Just rewind the video or come back to the video if you have to. Just keep practicing it and you'll get it. But otherwise, guys, let's get right into the playthrough. The weapon may be formed, but it won't prosper When the darkness falls, it won't prevail Cause the God I serve knows only how to try it My God will never fail My God will never fail I'm gonna see a victory, I'm gonna see a victory For the battle belongs to you, Lord I'm gonna see a victory, I'm gonna see a victory For the battle belongs to you, Lord You take what the enemy turn it for good You turn it for good You take what the enemy meant for evil And you turn it for good You turn it for good All right, guys, so that's the lesson for Sea of Victory by Elevation Worship. If you have any comments or questions about the lesson, leave them down below in the comment section. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And also, guys, remember, if you have any song requests or song recommendations for the future that you want to see here on the channel, leave them down below. I'd love to see those requests. And also, before you leave the video, don't forget to hit the like button for this video. Hit the subscribe button and notification bell to keep updated for future videos and help out the channel tremendously. But otherwise, guys, I really hope that the lesson was useful to you. Remember to keep safe and I'll see you in the next video.